Hey guys, we are going to talk about Tupperwareness and the scavenger hunt. Now, one of the things that happened last week is somebody, I texted somebody and I said, say, are you doing the scavenger hunt Saturday morning? And she was like, no. And I said, what do you mean? No, why not? And she goes, I don't see the point. So apparently I did not explain that well enough last week. Side note, I found out later she hadn't watched Rally, but that's beside the point. I'm going to make sure that you guys know what the point of this is. It's not just to walk around and ask people questions and go, oh, I love your blue shirt. Here, have a book. That is not what we're doing at all, okay? When we do these things, we have a purpose behind them because that's how this works. So what we want to do is when we talk to people, whether it's online or whether you're in person, you want to start that conversation with them and let them know why you do what you do. Okay, why do you sell Tupperware? Do you sell Tupperware because it helps other people with their homes, with their with their grocery money, with their organization, all those reasons? Um, do you sell Tupperware because you needed the extra money? So that's why you started. And it's turned into friendships and fun and scavenger hunts on Saturday morning, okay? But when you talk to people, you want to find out what it is they're doing. That's why like one of the one of the things I'm going to show you the memes, Nikki made such cute memes for this week. They are absolutely adorable and they're going to be a lot of fun. Um, when I show you those, you can, the, like the one in the grocery store. If you see someone in a grocery store and especially I always talk to people that are buying produce because that's what goes bad the fastest. And honestly, I love the fridge smarts, so it's what's easy to talk about. So when you walk up to somebody, you don't want to just walk up and go, hi, my name's Jenny. I'm doing stuff for Tup Awareness. We're having a scavenger hunt. Can I give you this book and take a selfie? That, that's not what we're doing here, okay? You want to say something if they have a kid with them or whatever. If, if they're looking at strawberries, you can say, and, and this is not <laughs> untrue, wow, the price of strawberries has really gone up. Or I I love strawberries, but I always have to look all through these little boxes to make sure that they haven't put the bad ones on the bottom. And th almost always the person will say, I know, food's outrageous, blah, blah, blah. And you can start the conversation that way. And then, and then just say, like for these scavenger hunts, say, hey, you know, the business that I work for, have you heard of Tupperware? And they're going to say a couple things like, Oh, well, of course, my mom had Tupperware, or is Tupperware still around? Or, oh yeah, I have a ton of Tupperware. It's that stuff over there in Al Five. <laughs> okay, no. So then you just say, look, we're having a thing. Our company's having a thing. Tupperware have been around seventy eight years, and we are having a a, a day on June eighth called Tupperwareness Day. And my company is doing a build up to Tupperwareness Day by having us do scavenger hunts. So would it be okay, since we're talking about these fruits and vegetables and everything, if I gave you a catalog and would you mind taking a selfie with me real quick so that I can show that I should, gave you the catalog? Now, most of the time they're going to say yes. If you do not have a catalog with you, say, look, do you have a cell phone? Because if I can send you the link to our CAD to, to my website, then I can take that selfie and, you know, tell, tell people that I did part of my scavenger hunt. People are going to be fine with that kind of thing. Now, getting them to take the selfie with you or to take your link from you accomplishes two things, whether you're virtual or whether you're in person. It gives them your number. It gives you their number. Because once you take that selfie, make a funny face. Do something like that. Hold the catalog up, make a funny face, and then go, can I send this to you? This is just so funny. I would love for you to have this picture too so that you remember that you talked to the Tupperware lady. Then you have their number because you've sent them the picture and you have the picture so you remember who it is you talk to. Because that's my biggest problem. I can talk to somebody and like half an hour later go, um... Yeah, I think his name was Dan or Don or, yeah, I'm not sure. So this way, you know who you've talked to and what you're doing. Now, so that is the purpose, okay? The purpose is to get your information to them 
and their information to you. Now, sometimes you'll talk to people and they will actually tell you things like, oh, groceries are so expensive. I've had to take a second job just for the groceries, or we've cut our food budget back so far because things are just so expensive. We can't even, you know, get all the extras and things. That, guys, gives you the opportunity to talk to them about the best way to save money with Tupperware. Okay, and the best way to save money with Tupperware is to join us. And right now, they can get the kit, they can get the $59 kit, they can get the $119 kit. They can start for $15 and get the fridge smarts you just told them about or get the modular mates that you just told them about at a great discount. So don't leave that there. Don't be afraid to say those kind of things. If I see a sale somewhere and I really like it, I call somebody that I know uses it and I say, hey, guess what? You know, Macy's has this on sale. Walmart has this on sale. Target has this on sale. You need to go get it. So if they have told you that they need help keeping their fruit vegetables fresh or that their cereal always goes stale or something, tell them you've got a fix for them. It's just the friendly thing to do. Okay, be kind. All right, so we're going to show you these memes. So this is the virtual one that Nikki did. And what she, what her, because she does so much more virtual stuff than I do. So you have to post your catalog link. When you challenge somebody to play in your scavenger hunt, whether it's in your private groups or in a party or just somebody that you're, you know, don't be afraid to do this. If there's somebody that you chat with on Messenger, just send it to them. Say, hey, you want to have some fun? We're doing this for, for my team and I could use your help. All right. Post your catalog link. And make sure that it's the catalog link, okay? Don't send them to the wrong place. Post the catalog link. It's a scavenger hunt. They're looking through the catalog. And they're looking for, um, okay, she has on here something purple in the catalog. We have all kinds of new purple products in the catalog. So let them find something purple. An eco-friendly product, okay? Everything we have is eco-friendly. This is not a hard thing to find, but most people will go for the water bottle or maybe one of the lunch things, you know, but everything we have is reusable and that's what we're looking for. And an item on their wish list. Now, this doesn't mean they have to be your host, okay? People wish for things that aren't having a party, that aren't a host, that aren't, you know, they just go through the book and go, oh, I wish I had that, okay? So when they we, when they send you your pictures, make sure you respond to their message, but don't respond with, okay, thanks. You know, ask them a question. If they send you a picture of one of the purple bowls, go, you know, do you have a lot of bowls in your kitchen or what, what's your favorite bowl to use? Um, just fun questions. You know, if, if they send you a picture of a water bottle or they send you a picture of a water bottle go do you know how many different sizes of water bottles we have and send them a picture of that big one that we've got and go would you ever use something like this um but make sure in wish list items wish list items you have to let them know that there's other ways to get those wish lists if what they want is a stack cooker how many ways are there to get a stack cooker guys they can pay full price for it they can get it free or they can get it half price or they can get it at a discount. So make sure you're putting all that out there so that they know what's going on and make sure, okay, because this says message me the items in the catalog for a surprise from me. Gives you the perfect opportunity to get their address or their email address so that you can send them that recipe card or whatever it is that you were planning on sending as a surprise, okay? And that way you can send them a catalog too. You can send them, you can actually send them a catalog if you get their address or you can email them the link to your website. So you want to make sure that you're using this to your advantage. This isn't just going out and handing somebody a book and going, okay, I did that, all right? Now I'm going to go to the next one because she did a really cute one for the in-person one. And I love that dog. <laughs> and bonus points if you guys send a picture of a dog in a purple tutu. Uh, <laughs> but what you're really looking for is somebody wearing purple. And it's the same thing. If you're talking to them and you find somebody wearing purple and you have the catalog with you, 
say, oh, I love your purple shirt or, you know, I like the purple bow in your hair, your daughter's hair, whatever. Is purple one of your favorite colors? And if they say yes, go, oh, you have got to see this. And you show them the book or you give them the link and go, you should see all of our new purple stuff that we have. All right. Talking this about somebody with a water bottle. Ask them how much, honestly, ask them how much they paid for that water bottle that they're getting ready to throw in the trash. Because if they bought it at a convenience store, they paid probably somewhere between $1.50 and $3 for it. If they bought it in a case at Costco or something like that, maybe if you divide it all out, it was only 50 cents. But you know what? That's a 16 ounce bottle. Our 16 ounce bottles are $6. So if even if they only paid 50 cents for it, if they drink a couple a day, 12 bottles, and they're spending more than if they buy a water bottle and start using it and, you know, quit throwing all that nonsense away. So there's that. And then we're back to the grocery store. We talked about the grocery store. I love talking to people in the grocery store. I have always loved talking to people in the grocery store. Even before I was in Tupperware, I would start up conversations with people and my kids would head the other way because they were like, mom, you don't have to talk to total strangers whenever we're in the grocery store. And I was like, well, yeah, I kind of do because that's who I talk to because that's who I talk to that's not the five of you. <laughs> so <laughs> that was where that went. But so find your own word choices, okay? It's super important that you be you when you do these kind of things. Um, you can use obviously ideas from other people, but make it you, make it your words, your personality, because that's who people want to know. And that's what you're going to be doing. So the scavenger hunt Saturday, Pam will post those two memes and you can start posting your pictures underneath there of people that do it. We do have a drawing for the people that posted last week, which guys wasn't a whole lot of people. So let's be playing the games. Come on. Um, it's a, it's fun. It's fun. And it's honestly an easy way to learn how to make a conversation with somebody that you wouldn't otherwise, because it gives you, there's, there's a reason behind it. You're not just walking up and trying to start a conversation. You're on a scavenger hunt. And when you were a kid, that was great. You would go to doors at nine o'clock at night and ring the doorbell and get that stuff. So now all you're asking them to do is take a book, take a link, take a photo not a problem. Okay. That's, that's me. 